Hey Scribblers! Some of you may know that Susan Denard is one of my all-time favorite authors. She writes the amazing fantasy series Witchlands. Recently, the box set for the first three novels of the series has come out. They did not include the novella Sight Witch, which, you know, kills me on the inside because that is probably my favorite book in the series so far. But even if you do go get the box set, I would recommend going to get Sight Witch because Blood Witch is so much more better understood if you read Sight Witch. Now the reason why they came out with this box set is because Blood Witch had a new cover artist and they wanted to make the other two novels in the series so far fit with that art. I'm going to show you guys the art first and then I'm going to get into the meat of this video. So this is the box set that is Merrick all his wind witch witchery jumping off of a building. I mean, look at these like spines. Oh my goodness, they look so beautiful together. Okay. So here is the new cover for Truth Witch. I still have my original hardback cover, so you can see the differences between them. They are both super gorgeous, but like, I don't know, Safi looks even more badass in the new cover. Next is Wind Witch, which follows Merrick. I don't have my copy of the original cover for Wind Witch with me. It is actually in my classroom. I just happen to have multiple copies of Truth Witch. And I have one here. So I'm going to like put up right here the original Wind Witch cover. Uh, they are both, again, awesome. But I like the way Merrick is being very Merrick by <laughs> jumping off of the building. And then lastly is Blood Witch. The Blood Witch was always this cover. This is the first one that came out with the new cover. So I have nothing to compare with. But when you get the box set, not only do you get the three books, you get this awesome poster and map. See, that is the poster of the three covers kind of merged together. And okay, I am such a map fan. I love that we get a map. I love that we get a map of New Bravna, or not just New Bravna, all of the Witchlands. And there's some things happening in Blood Witch, well, that start off in Truth Witch, but happen in Blood Witch that this map is so useful for. So I'm super excited about that. But the reason why I'm making this video today is not just to show off these gorgeous new covers, but I am lucky enough to be part of a blog tour where we are celebrating the new box set. My part of the blog tour I'm super excited about because some of you may know that Jim Henson's company has optioned the rights to the Witchland series and like they're gonna make a show out of it. So what I am doing today is a fan cast. I am so excited for this show. So I am looking forward to who is going to play all these amazing characters. So I have a list of like who I think would be great in some of the main roles. I know I probably like forgot characters, blame it on my head and not my heart because I love all of the characters. They are all special to me. Like I swear, I am so in love with this series. 
I haven't been a hardcore fan fiction reader in years, but Witchlands dragged me back into fan fiction. All right, like that's how serious it is. All right, so for the first character, we are going to start off with, of course, the Truth Witch, Safi. For Safi, I would choose Dove Cameron. You may know Dove from the Descendants movies on Disney. I, I think Dove has this like softness, the sweet blonde look, but also she kind of looks like if given a chance she will cut you. Which is very much Safi, like goat's tits. Safi is the badass. Next is actually probably my favorite character. Well, not top three favorite character. I, I do no favorite character. Izul is I love her. So for her, I will actually cast one of my favorite actresses, Arden Cho. You may have seen Arden Cho in the show Teen Wolf, where she played Kira, a kitsun, and a total badass. So it makes sense for her to go from that badass to this badass. And I think she's currently on the show Chicago Med. But we can totally ditch Chicago Med for Witchlands. I mean, it makes sense to me. Next on my list is Merrick, who I would cast Avon Jogia. I, I hope I'm saying his name right. He's been in several things, but the main thing I personally know him for is Beck on Victoria, uh, on Victorious. Like, I loved him on that show. Like, he has the, like, tall, dark, and handsome broodiness of Merrick. And, like, he could probably pull off the kind of cluelessness that Merrick sometimes go through. Like, so I, I can really see him in that role. Next, okay, this actor may be a little old for the role, but he still looks kind of young, so I'm going with it. I'm just going to flow with it. For Aedwin, aka Badwin, I would cast Manny Jacinto from The Good Place. Like, on The Good Place, he plays like this clueless dunce he's an idiot but he's so lovable and kind of Merrick is a clueless dunce who's an idiot and lovable like hold on look at this oh look at him look at him he's just so freaking adorable and he's an idiot and I love him I mean he can even pick out a coat for Izu like I'm just I'm having feelings right now Leave me to my emotions. Alright, so next on my list would be Vivia, who is Merrick's older sister. For her, I would choose Sophia Butella. Again, she's been in several things, but the thing I most know her as was that awesome lady Giselle in Kingsman. Like, that role is basically Vivia. Like, Vivia is a pirate queen, and like, she's the queen of my heart, at least. Like, there's drama going on about that, but we're not even gonna worry about that because she is queen. And I feel Sophia could really pull off the haughty, like, I'm better than everyone, and I know it, and I will kill you, like, vibe that Vivia has. And along with Vivia is the person who I ship her with the most. I'm sorry, Sticks. But Vanis, another queen. Like, there's so many just strong women in this series, which is probably why I love it so much. But for Vivia, I would choose Yara Shahidi, most known for her roles in Blackish and Grownish. Like, She's gorgeous, she's powerful, like, she's the Iron Empress, even if some people will be unimpressed. Sorry, inside joke for those in the fandom, y'all read these books. 
So yeah, I, I could see Yara being able to have that like high chin, I'm looking down on you vibe. Next, which is the kind of more canon love interest of Vivia, who I still love, but my V squared ship is stronger. Styx, who I would cast as Letitia Wright. You guys probably all know Letitia as Shuri in Black Panther. She's been in a ton of things. She's a badass rapper, like, so Styx can control water. She's a water witch. And she is like one of the top ranking in the military. She is hella smart. She's a noble woman. She is Vivia's right hand woman. Letitia can do that thing. She can pull that shit off. Like, I need it. Jim Hansen, get on this list. Like, y'all need to be watching this and cast all my faves because I think this casting is A+. Plus. Next on my list would be Cullen, who is like Merrick's best friend. I would cast him as Timothy Shalomet. I don't know how to say this boy's last name. But he was in Ladybird which I actually never saw. But I really like him in the trailers for The King. And he just, I don't know, he has this like elfish kind of look to him. Like he's not of this world. And Cullen is not totally feeling like he's of this world. Spoilers, I'm sorry. But like, <laughs> Timothy would make a good Cullen. Like we'd have to dye his hair or bleach his hair, I don't care. He will be fine, like, throw on a wig if you have to, but bleach your hair or something. You, you'll be fine, sweetie. Like, I've dyed my hair so many times. My hair is strong, healthy, and then I don't have those rich Hollywood people doing it, so you will be fine. Just dye your hair blonde for the role. So next I have on my list is Cullen's girlfriend, Ryber, who I would cast Eden Duncan Smith as like she was in that Netflix movie see you yesterday and like I fell in love with her she is amazing actress like just like Ryber in the books her character was super smart kind of a nerd pretty much a nerd and Ryber is that same way Ryber is intelligent hardworking, and I think Eden would look kind of badass with Ryber's silver eyes like the dark skin and the silver eyes would just it would look amazing so like let's do that next on my list is probably the one that I had the hardest time casting because there are not a lot of like really young Asian child actresses out so like one that's something we need to fix Hollywood but for Al, I would cast Maya Cheech. I think I'm saying her name right. She was in The Darkest Minds. She is totally adorable. Al is adorable. But I will also, like, kill you. I, I don't think there's anyone in this series that will not, like, kill you if you look at them the wrong way. Which, you know, murderers, murder people are like my heart. Like... I love characters that are so sweet but will also stab you and that is so many of these characters. So next on my list is like the fandom bicycle. Even Suze has said that the problem with him is that he's just so damn charming you can ship him with anybody. My baby Leopold. I would cast Alright, this one might be a little controversial because this guy may not be considered traditionally handsome like Leopold is, but he has the charisma I think that will like just elevate this role. But Joe Carey, Steve from Stranger Things, like 
hear me out. Like, if if you get him outside of Stranger Things, he is totally cute, and he he just has this thing about him. Like he can, I think inside he could play the fandom vice. Okay. That on battery died like right in the middle of me like fangirling, which is totally rude of it. But yeah, I was saying I think Joe has the spirit and the heart to become a fandom bicycle, just like my son Leopold. So I, I'm casting him. And last but not least on my list is Esme, who is twisted and dark and like so many kinds of fucked up. I would cast Lana Condor. She's already done a book adaptation in All the Boys I've Loved Before and a franchise for when she was Jubilee in the X-Men Apocalypse. So I, I think she she could be as me. She has the ability to have that kind of twisted and more than a little fucked up sense of humor and bring people back from the dead to play with them as puppets like Lana Condor can do that. So I hope that Jim Henson is listening to me and subscribe to my tiny little YouTube channel so that they can hire all the actors that I've suggested. I mean even like some of them would be great. Like come on work with me Jim Henson. If you are interested in more about the Blog Hop and the Witchland series, I will put the information for the other blogs in the description box below. And I like highly suggest picking up Witchland series if you haven't. The first book is Truth Witch. Reading order. Truth Witch, Wind Witch, Sight Witch, Blood Witch. Blood Witch is not the last book in the series. So don't go complaining about things. Like there are more to come. Like we just have to have a little patience. But I also suggest following Suze on Twitter. She's S-T-Denard, D-E-N-N-A-R-D. She is currently running a like choose your own adventure on Twitter with a book she wrote years ago, The Luminaries, and it is so fun like it is the highlight of my day every day when she posts them so like yeah I suggest following all of that not only following her subscribing to me if you are new to this channel I was on a brief hiatus life got crazy but I try to post every Tuesday and I talk about books writing and anything tangently related to either of those so if you enjoyed this video give it a like maybe if Jim Henson sees it has a lot of likes they will be like hey that Tracy girl has a good idea for casting let's get these people and maybe Netflix or Hulu or Amazon will pick up the show so we can all watch it on TV because the show is going to be amazing like it is basically a Feminist Game of Thrones, and who doesn't want more of that? Like, it's diverse. I, I just, I, I can go on all day about this book series, but I'm not. I'm not going to keep you here even longer. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you want to see more fan casts, let me know in the comments below. Tell me what you would like me to fan cast. Like, I know I'm a slow reader, but I, I can read things so I can fan cast them. <laughs> Alright, until next time, keep writing.